If you're doing a bunch of different exercises every workout in order to shock your muscles, you're confusing variety for progress. The right amount of variety keeps training interesting. Too much variety stops you from getting strong enough at exercises to build muscle and strength through progressive overload. And a person said, do you really need variety? What if I'm happy repeating the same sets I always do week in, week out? And that's a great question because it's confusing. A lot of people say different things. Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the day said, like, you have to change muscles up. You've got to shock the muscles. And then a lot of people jumped on that. Oh, I need to shock the muscles. So I need to just like, one day I'm going to do dumbbell chest press for my chest. And the next day I'm going to do chest flies. And then I'm going to do push ups. Then I'm going to do chest press machine. Then I'm going to do incline bench press. Then I'm going to do decline uh, dumbbell chest press. Then I'm going to do, uh, you know, dumbbell chest fly and just like keep rotating these exercises and shocking your body, shocking your muscles. And a lot of people bought that for a while, but that is not how it works. We know better than that now. The thing that matters for building muscle, which is what we're trying to do in the gym, is progressive overload. That's what we want to focus on. We want to focus on getting stronger at movements. And that is done best when we do that movement repetitively. That is why we change programs anywhere between every three to six weeks. I like to do one month just because it works better. It's, you know, there's 12 months in a year. You can do 12 programs in a year. It kind of works. Okay, January, I did this program. February, I did this program. It's just easy. But that doesn't mean it has to be every four weeks. It can be anywhere between three to six. And with that repetition of doing the same exercise again, it emphasizes this saying that I heard quite a while back, strength is a skill. And strength as a skill reiterates the fact that you need repetition. So with any skill that we develop and that we progress, we need to do that skill over and over and over and over again. The skill of sport, let's say we're playing cricket and we're trying to see the ball come down as the person's bowling and practice, and practice our batting. We need to see lots of bowls. We need to do a lot of practice at training, seeing people bowl to us so we can cut, so we can get a better eye. There's a skill of seeing the ball. I played cricket once. I hit three balls and then I got bowled because I, I wasn't adjusted to seeing the ball. I didn't know what happened when it hit the pitch and bounced, whether they were doing spin or whether they were doing a speed ball. I couldn't tell. I didn't really know how to hold the bat because I had no skill I had, or I had very, very, very little skill because I had no repetition of that skill. And the same thing goes with strength. We need to practice these exercises to become efficient at these exercises. And once we're efficient at something, we can do it better. And in the gym, that means lifting more weight. And lifting more weight means progressive overload. And if you can't lift more weight, you do the same weight that you did last week, but for more reps, because that also is progressive overload. The load is getting heavier over time. And if we do variety every single time and we change exercises, we don't get good enough at that exercise because we just keep changing it. So we're always kind of in this learning phase of an exercise as opposed to this perfecting stage of an exercise where we're finally nailing the technique, we're nailing the tempo for the phase of, of workouts that you're doing and you're, and you're nailing the coordination. You're finally really stable and you just keep adding weight or adding reps. And then after three to six weeks, you're probably gonna plateau on that exercise for that rep range that you're doing. You probably can't do that extra rep on the same weight, or you can't do that next weight up. You've hit a plateau. That's fine, that's what we want at the end of a program because now it's time to move on to a different program with a different stimulus, with different reps, potentially different exercises so that we can continue to make progress for that muscle group but on a different exercise in a different context. So variety is important because as I said in my post, it keeps things interesting. But there's a balance between staying interested and getting results. And this is why I have a problem with F45 and pump class for building muscle. I don't have a problem if you want to do it in your spare time or for your training. Knock yourself out. As long as you enjoy it and it's going to be sustainable for you, go ahead. But there's going to be a limit to how much muscle you can build 
in an F45 classroom or in a pump class that you're doing at Les Mills because there's always variety. They're changing the classes every every time you go, it's different. And that's cool for interest and like, man, training's so fun. I've never done this before. I've never done that before. Oh man, we haven't done this for months. I love this exercise. But you're not going to get strong at it. If, if pump class was the same every time, it wouldn't be successful because people would get bored. People say, I've done this. And I think this is why a lot of people don't really build that much muscle mass. A lot of people kind of just keep going to the gym, doing the same thing over and over and over again, and they just get bored. Or they can't handle that boredom, so they change things all the time. And they are doing a different exercise for a different muscle group every single workout. So if you're changing things too much, you're never going to progress in strength on that exercise and successfully apply progressive overload, which is the key to building muscle. On the other side of things, if you just do the same thing over and over and over again, like this person has commented, like, can I just do the same thing week in, week out? You can, but you're going to hit that plateau in three to six weeks. So if you get all you can out of that workout program or just out of a specific exercise for three to six weeks, but you do it for six months, you're plateauing for five months and you're not applying progressive overload. You're not getting stronger. You're not building muscle. You might actually start losing muscle or just maintaining muscle. But let's say you're doing a back squat and in three to six weeks, you progress it, progress it, progress it. And then you can't get any stronger. You can't do more reps with the same weight and you can't apply progressive over overload through lifting more weight. Once that happens, at the end of that week, you need to think of changing that back squat out for a similar movement doing the same thing you could do a leg press, you could do a split squat, you could do a lunge so that now you go back into a learning phase for a different exercise. It still hits the same muscle, but now you're hitting a different stimulus. You're hitting the muscle in a different way. You're doing a different exercise. You go from a back squat to doing a leg press. It's similar, but it's different. So it's a new stimulus. And now you can start to go through that learning phase of that exercise, of that rep range and of that tempo that you're doing. And then you can start applying progressive, progressive overload through the leg press. So now your leg press is kind of like building, building, building. Meanwhile, your back squat is desensitizing. So that when you put back squats back in and your leg press fatigues, let's just say you want to go back to back squatting. You do leg press for three to six weeks you're going to go back to back squat and it's going to be like you haven't back squatted for a while and you're going to get some, you know, get back to that learning phase and apply progressive overload and get stronger and stronger and stronger. Hopefully when you go back to that back squat, you're going to be at a higher place that you started when you first did it. And that is how we continue to apply progressive overload and get stronger at certain exercises. That is the thinking behind the programming, uh, behind variety, behind sticking to the same muscle groups and progressing.